In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and manage Shopify webhooks using Python. And we're going to configure the webhooks to stream the data to Google Pop Sub, making real-time e-commerce data available on the Google Cloud Platform. The video has three parts. First, we're going to retrieve the token that we need to access the data from the Shopify API, and we're going to get the service account details. Then we're going to set up and configure a Google Pops Up topic with the service account details. And finally, we'll set up a webhook with Python that allows us to fetch newly created orders and stream that into the Pops Up topic. So this is the development store we're going to be using for this. To get the token, go to Apps, App and Sales Channel Settings, Develop Apps. And here you can either create a new app, we're going to choose one we already set up. And here's the configuration of that app. The important part for this video is that the access scopes include read orders. If you go to API credentials, this is where you get the access token that you need to access the data with the API. If you go to configuration and then click edit, this is where you get to change the access scopes for your token. And it's also where we get the service account details that we need to set up the pop up topic that will fetch the newly created orders from Shopify. And this is all the way at the bottom of this page. Here it is, Google pops up. And this is the service account address that we need for setting up the pop up topic. So let's copy that. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to GCP. We're going to click console in the upper right corner, and then we're going to search for pop up because we want to set up a pop up topic. Here it is. Then we'll click Create Topic, and I'm just going to call the topic the same thing as I called the Shopify application, which is Insights. Then you click Create Topic, and now a new topic is going to be set up. So once we have a new topic, we can go back uh, and see it in the list of topics. And in order for this topic to receive data from Shopify, we have to set up a principle. So go to the three dots to the right, then you go to View Permissions and Add Principle. And in the field New Principles, you'll paste in the service account details that we got from Shopify. And as a role, we'll choose PubSub Publisher as we want Shopify to publish data to this topic. Click Save. And now that a principle has been added, we can go to the right and check the permissions. And here we see the service account details that we just added. All right, moving on to the Python code. We need two libraries for this. We need the Shopify API Python library, and we need python.n to get the token from the environment file. And then we're going to activate an API session using the access token and the merchant name. All right, in order to set up the webhook, we need to tell Shopify what data we want to receive and where we want to send that data. In this example, we want to listen for newly created orders. So we're going to set up a webhook on the Shopify topic orders create. And we want to send that data to the pop up topic we just created on GCP, which is called Insights, and it's in the project Rabbit Promotion. And all we need to set up this webhook is the Shopify topic, it's the address where we want to send the data, and it's the format of the data which we want to be JSON. This information is kept in a Python dictionary, and then we use Shopify webhook create on this dictionary to create the webhook. Once a webhook has been set up, we can use the find method to find the webhook or any other webhook that exists, or we can use the delete method to delete the webhook using the webhook's ID. So let's run the code and see how it works. Here we have the token and the merchant name kept in a separate file. I'm going to import this so that we can activate a Shopify API session. So now that we have an active Shopify session, I'm going to copy in the details of the webhook, and then I'm going to call Shopify webhook create. And this will return the webhook where you can see the webhook ID. If I run Shopify webhook find, we will fetch the webhook that I just set up. If you want to delete this webhook, 
you need the webhooks ID and you get that by extracting the attribute ID from the webhook. You can also extract all attributes from the webhook to get the basic information, such as the address, the topic, when it was created, and so on. Now that we have a webhook, let's create an order and check that this order is indeed being sent to the pop up topic on GCP. I'm going to buy this blue Nike shirt and then I'm going to fill in some bogus details. Pay now and now the order is being processed. Here we have the order status page. Order has been confirmed. Let's head over to GCP and check that the order has been sent to the pops up topic. We select our topic insights. We go to messages and then we select the default subscription that we set up and then we click pull to pull the message that has been sent. And here we have the order that we just created. Now, from here, we can do different things with this order. We can either send it to a database like BigQuery, or we can trigger a cloud function, process the order, and send a new message to a different topic. It depends on your use case and what it is you want to build. All right, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe for similar content in the future. Thanks for watching.